Nations graduates. As we celebrate on this marvelous Kansas Day, uh, I think it's appropriate to keep in mind those people and communities that were affected by last night's storm. It is my distinct pleasure to join you as we honor your achievement and honor the fact that today you are all keeping a promise. And today you are in fact keeping a number of promises, many of which you didn't even know you had made. Each of you is keeping a promise to your parents and guardians that you would work hard, that you would not stay out too late too often, that you would earn the degree that you're seeking and that many of them have helped to pay for. A promise to the residents of Kansas whose taxes go to fund just under a quarter of the university's budget in the expectation that we and you will contribute to the life of this state, life of this state and of our society. And a promise to yourself that all of your work in the classroom, laboratory, clinic, and studio will be rewarded with a degree from the University of Kansas. It's that last promise that we recognize on this day because it's what motivated you to get to this moment. It motivated you when all the midterms and papers seemed to be due the same day, when you had to work to help pay for school, or when Monday morning came so much sooner than you expected or that it should have. That promise to yourself to strive to make your dreams real is important and will continue to be so. But each of us also has other obligations, promises to the future that as graduates you must now keep. At the University of Kansas, we prepare our students for their careers. Your professors and mentors gave you the opportunity to learn the skills and obtain the knowledge you'll need to be successful in your chosen fields. That's vitally important, not only to your personal economic success, but also uh, important to the success of our society. We need skilled graduates to contribute to contribute their talents to forge our common prosperity, and that is part of the promise to the future that you will be called upon to keep. But even that is not the only promise. Indeed, in many ways, it may not even be the most important one, because in addition to preparing you to make a living, it is the mission of this university to prepare you to make a life. And making a life can take many forms. At its most basic, certainly, it includes living your life in a way that realizes your potential as a human being and at the same time contributes to society. Many of you have already shown your readiness to do just that through your participation in service learning, alternative spring breaks, or in any number of other ways that you contribute to your community, whatever that community might be. Many of you have helped raise awareness of the pressing challenges facing our world, from poverty to climate change. Or you participated in our democracy and supported the efforts of others who seek to do the same in their homelands. That work must continue if our society is to succeed and if the opportunity to prosper is to be available to all. And as you go out into the world, you join other Jayhawk graduates who have come before you and who are keeping their promise to contribute to the common good. Graduates like Sheila Baer, who is chairman of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. The money you saved, or for many of you, the money you plan to save, is protected from bank failure because of the work that she is doing. That stability enables you to plan for the future and our nation to grow. Brian McClendon is a co-creator of Google Earth, a remarkable tool that by putting the world at our fingertips, 
has shown just how close we are. And by providing vivid before and after images of disasters from Haiti to Japan to Alabama, it has shown us the fragility of our lives and the fact that tragedy knows no borders. These are just two of the hundreds of thousands of KU graduates who are living up to their promises to the future by making a life and making a living. You now join them, taking your place among the Jayhawks who are changing lives all around the world. You are joined by a graduate who recently wrote to me about a promise she made, not to the entire world, but to a single person. Abby Young graduates today with a master's degree from the School of Social Work. But as, she, but as she walked down the hill today, someone very dear to her was missing, her husband, Jeffrey Keith Young. Abby and Keith had known each other since eighth grade, and they got married in 2003. But five years ago, Keith was diagnosed with colon cancer. With the support of Abby, his friends, and family, Keith battled for four years, but ultimately died a year ago this February at the age of 32. Before Keith passed away, he told Abby how important it was to him that she finish her degree. Despite the heartbreak and the tremendous financial hardship she faced, Abby kept that promise to Keith and today, she walked down the hill as a graduate. Congratulations, Abby. Not all of our promises are as personal as the one that Abby made to Keith, but all of them should be kept as if they were. So as you leave the stadium today, and go off into the world, I hope you will each make one more promise to yourself, to those around you, and to the future. A promise that you'll make a good living and a good life, not sacrificing the latter in hopes of gaining riches or power simply for your own sake. A promise that you will be an active member of our society because we desperately need your talent and ideas if we are to meet the grand challenges of our time. And a promise that you will continuously strive to meet the high expectations that you have for yourself today as you leave Mount Oriette. Now, to help you remember this promise, we're going to do something that we've done at the last two commitments, commencements. I want you to have your, if you have your smartphones, I want you to take out your smartphones. I know none of you have them with you. Uh, and I want you to take a picture of yourself and those around you. When you've taken this picture, send it to the hill at ku.edu. We'll put your face, your photos on facebook.com slash KU as a reminder of this day, as a reminder of the great potential you now hold, and the promise that you're making to yourself and your world to use that potential for good. Everybody got their photos? Okay. All right, send them to the hill at ku.edu and check KU's Facebook page later today to see the photos. And in the years to come, remind yourselves of this promise. All of us here today, your parents and family, your friends, the professors who greeted you as you entered the stadium have great expectations of each of you. But not, none of those are greater than the expectations you should have for yourself. Live up to those expectations by making a, le a living and a life and by keeping your promise to the future. Congratulations, best of luck, and rock chop.